the argument, I guess, here is that would you kill baby Hitler? And the truth is that no pro-life person on earth would kill baby Hitler, right? Because baby Hitler wasn't Hitler. Adult Hitler was Hitler. Baby Hitler was a baby. Right? What you presumably want to do with baby Hitler was take baby Hitler out of baby Hitler's house and move baby Hitler into a better house where he would not grow up to be Hitler, right? That's the idea. That clip of a live show by Ben Shapiro is why the term baby Hitler is trending on Twitter. Because apparently the progressives think they can own Ben Shapiro by pointing out that he's wrong to not kill baby Hitler. I don't think this is the win you guys think it is. Ben is not wrong when he says that baby Hitler is not yet Hitler. Imagine, if you will, that Adolf Hitler, just to use your kind of terminology, is a social construct. The construct of Adolf Hitler does at no point include the construct of baby. They are not the same thing. So if you're presented with a baby and you and someone tells you, well, that's Adolf Hitler, and if you kill it, you'll prevent the Holocaust, you go, okay, then I'll do it. I'll stab this baby, except you would think that you would be consistent with your own ideas and say, well, hang on, how do I know that's real? How do I know that this is baby Hitler? I mean, how do I know that what they consider Hitler to be is even what I consider Hitler to be. How do we know we have any kind of shared definition on this at all? And on what point are they an authority on who or where this baby came from? Why don't I sit here and use my own kind of linguistic tools to undermine any solid statements that have made to undermine the question of whether I not actually have baby Hitler? Because you don't fucking know. But you're ready to stab that baby, you fucking lunatics. A baby called Adolf Hitler is not the same as an adult called Adolf Hitler, who is the leader of the Third Reich. These are not the same things. So if you want to sit there and say, well, I, one's going to become another, okay, maybe, maybe if left uninterfered with, one would, be, one would become the other, right? Maybe. Given enough time. But you've got like 25, 30 years, something like that, before you really have to start worrying about that kind of thing. Is there anything in the more immediate future you could do that didn't involve murdering the baby? Is there anything? And the thing is, right, again, you, you're thinking, oh no, this is all just leftist irony. Trust me, there is nothing to this. Well, the New York Times apparently polled their readers and 42% of them said that they would actually kill baby Hitler. And that is a genuinely scary number of morally deformed people that exist in the United States and read their magazine or their newspaper. So the Washington Post decided to put an article, you should not kill baby Hitler. Isn't that amazing? The Washington Post is lecturing almost half of the audience of the New York Times because they're sociopathic monsters that would murder a baby if they thought they were doing some greater good. That is <laughs> it's unreal, frankly, how, how unbelievably morally deformed these people are. If there is something in you that can kill a baby, the problem is in your head, you're not going to save the world by killing a baby ever, you fucking psychos. Let's just assume for a moment that you have actually identified the real baby Hitler. Is there anything you could do in the short term that doesn't involve murdering a baby... <laughs> that, that also means that baby Hitler perhaps doesn't go on to lead a life of resentment against the Jews. Is there anything you, maybe you could do? Ben Shapiro, his position for the pro-life argument is totally internally consistent and completely morally sound. You can't expect someone to murder a baby, even if there is the hypothetical potential of that saving millions of lives. You still can't expect someone to do that. It's too much. You can't say there is a moral fault on you for not murdering a baby. Because the, the intent and the thing and the result are different things and they all matter. The intent A, procedure B, result C. B, I think, is the most important. If we have to choose one thing out of those things that, are, that supersedes everything, that's the most important. How did you go about whatever it is you did? That's the thing that I think is really the most important part. Then the intent matters and the consequence matters, but these are of lesser importance in my opinion, obviously not in your opinion. And what I'm effectively saying is that you say the ends justify the means, because that is what you're saying. And what Ben Shapiro is saying is that the ends don't justify the means. You can't suggest you're going to get a good moral end by murdering a baby. 
Fucking hell, you're such lunatics. I love some of these tweets, though. It's worth comparing the way Ben Shapiro tortled over the killing of Trayvon Martin with his solicitude for baby Hitler, or as we kill him in my house, the fetal Fuhrer. Babies don't make moral judgments. So saying baby Hitler isn't an indictment of the baby's moral decision-making process. The baby doesn't have a moral failing, even though it's the baby of Hitler. It's not the same as Trayvon Martin, an adult. I don't think this is a pre-crime scenario or is a train scenario. I think that the question is really, can you still consider yourself to have taken a moral action if you are murdering a baby, regardless of who that baby is? Does murdering babies equate to moral actions in any scenario? If pressed, I'd give a solid no on that one, and I think you guys probably should too, just for the optics of it, if nothing else. But these are my favourite ones. Cody Johnston. Ben Shapiro wouldn't kill baby Hitler. He'd simply give him to best parents. Not gay parents, though. Yuckers. You're okay with gays and you'd kill a baby. Which one's worse? I'm pro-gay marriage. I don't mind gay people raising children as long as they're good parents. Same requirement I have for straight people, incidentally. Not sure it's worse than killing a baby, though. Being bigoted against gays. I don't think it's worse. I think killing a baby is worse. If I met someone who killed a baby and they just ranted and raved at me how they were sure the baby was going to grow up to kill a, commit a massacre, I would probably think that person was a lunatic. And I would consider the person who was bigoted against gays but didn't kill a baby as a moral superior to those people. Just I know I know it's going to sound uncharitable to your point of view, but at the end of the day, I think you're the kind of person who'd probably do it. Today, headliner Ben Shapiro read a bunch of ads then argued in favour of baby Hitler. We're arguing in favour of baby Hitler, are we? We're not arguing in favour of not murdering a baby. We're arguing in favour of baby Hitler. Pro-baby Hitler's positions. Well, okay, let's have, a look. let's have a look at baby Hitler's manifesto, shall we? What is it? More nap times? Increased time on the nipple? <laughs> it doesn't include anything about Jews, because he's baby Hitler. <laughs> I thought this just isn't a question in your moral framework, is it? Apparently the Daily Wire team removed his episode. I don't agree that they should. I think Ben Shapiro had a perfectly reasonable position. Not killing a baby even if the baby is Hitler. There's, he's done nothing wrong there. Like, I think that's totally defensible. And if there are people making you think it's not defensible, this is why people call conservatives fucking cucks. Ben Shapiro did nothing wrong. It doesn't matter if these people get upset by that. It's a totally defensible thing that he has said. You should defend it and not capitulate. There are many comments like this one. We would, however, separate baby Hitler from his family if baby Hitler had been born in Central America and presumably been taken by his parents illegally to cross the US-Mexico border. Don't you have to, Adam? Don't you have to make sure they're not being trafficked, Adam? I mean, maybe just for the safety of any trafficked children... All children should be separated from their parents for a short period of time until everyone can be verified as to who they are and then reunited. It's not the end of the world. They don't die. They might actually save a few children who are being trafficked illegally into the United States. Well, they're all being trafficked illegally, but being trafficked by people who aren't their fucking parents. But apparently Ben Shapiro has some kind of moral fault here or something. This is absolute lunacy, and the left has gone mad. And the thing is, I already know that there are going to be leftists who are going to go, well, I mean, I was just saying that in an ironic way. I would never kill a baby. I said, well, okay, I don't really believe you. And I don't believe that you were doing it really ironically. I think you hide behind the irony because you're afraid of really committing to anything sincere. But it's always consistent pattern on the size that you are ironically for. That's all I'm saying. 